Essential vocabulary for talking about the coronavirus in English. Before I get started, I want it to be clear I'm not offering any medical advice. I'll help you to understand and the vocabulary you might read or hear about this fatal disease and help you to share your thoughts and concern about it in English. Let's start with outbreak, epidemic, pandemic. To help you to memorize these words, imagine that you have a target, a central point as in the picture. Outbreak, epidemic, pandemic. Outbreak is a sudden increase in the number of cases of a disease in a particular place. Epidemic is a large outbreak that means it takes a larger geographic area. Pandemic is a global epidemic. It's no longer in one region or one country, but it became a worldwide problem. Let's have an example to make things clear. In China, the coronavirus started with an outbreak in Wuhan. Over time, it became an epidemic, and soon it became a pandemic. Virus Any of a large group of submicroscopic infectious agents that are usually regarded as non-living, extremely complex molecules that are capable of growth and multiplication only in living cells and that cause various important diseases in humans, animals, and plants. The adjective of a virus is viral. Actually, it's a coronavirus, not the, because there are many and this particular one is COVID-19. So, grammatically, we should say a, eh, not the, but for most of us, it's not a problem yet. Contagious or infectious. It's an adjective to express that the virus can move easily from one another. So it can be passed from one to another and more formal way to say pass or give is transmit. Example, you shouldn't shake hands because it might transmit the virus. Contract is the formal way to say that someone has the coronavirus. He or she has been contracted. Important note. You might have heard the word contract with a stress on the first syllable. Contract, not contract. The same word with the same spelling, but different pronunciation. Then we have the word contract, which means an agreement between two or more persons or parties, especially legally. And the word contract, which means to become affected with. Now here, contracted means infected from the verb infect, infect with. But to describe the virus itself, it will be infectious. Symptoms. The signs that show that somebody has a certain disease. Finally, you might come across the abbreviation WFO which means work from home.